Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here in the Sounds Critic. We're actually here with this latest one on the movie called Baby's Day Out. So, I don't actually know this one, but I have to guess Bumbling Thieves trying to catch a baby, but failing every time. I think. Can't say for sure, but well, we're about to find out. So let's check out Baby's Day Out. Be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's check it out. This episode brought to you by Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Also brought to you by Bespoke Post. Get your box of awesome today. What channel is awesome? Man, they're really going through with this mess. Dang, talk about a speed up. Okay, Malcolm? Critic! Uh, Critic. Critic, calm down. Critic, I figured it out. What? You figured figure what out? The greatest conspiracy of all time. Jesus, what is it, man? We remember we got, man? Baron Steen Bears instead of Baron Stain Bears because they're from another dimension. Oh, no, that's not it. It's because Baron Steen is a more common name if you say it really fast. They kind of sound alike. Also, the curse mm -hmm. of A looks very similar to a curse of E, so it's an easy mix-up. Yeah. Well, I had this parallel dimension theory about Oscar Mayer. Same thing. The A looks like an E. It's just upside down. Mm -hmm. Well, how about... George's tail. Most monkeys have tails. That's not such a big reach. But then there's... Fruit Loops. That's literally how fruit is spelled. Why wouldn't you think that? Well, you mm -hmm. can't explain... Monopoly guy's monocled. He's a human version of Mr. Pina. Another easy mistake. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, everybody thinks there's a big, crazy reason why all these Mandela effects happen. Wait, that one. Everyone thinks Nelson Mandela died. He did. Oh, yeah. Most of the oh, time, recently, yeah. Easy to but not back in prison. That honestly make a lot of sense. There's no parallel mm -hmm. dimension or secret government cover-ups. Most of the time, it's just people are dumb. True. I guess you're right. You want to know the weirdest theory I had? Not really. Everybody but... swears you reviewed Baby's Day Out, and I thought there was a timeline where maybe you did. No, that one's true. What? Eh? Wait, I'm, hmm? it's not I don't good. want it. The Baby Day Out ends have brainwashed all their reality. Everyone is convinced that you never reviewed Baby's Day Out. Monsters. Wait, well, this is totally real? Of course, Malcolm. They want to destroy all the bad reviews of the movie. Just look at that flat apocalyptic world with Great King! This is happening, man! Yeesh! I wanna help! Nope. Just ouch. Sorry, Malcolm. Ah, just kidding! Yeehaw! Come on, you knucklehead! Yeehaw! Baby stay up! Good luck, guys! This is the perfect tone for this kind of movie. Yeah, you'll see, just watch. <laughs> this film is brought up to me, it's in one of two ways. One is asking, hey, when are you gonna review Baby's Day Out? And the other being, man, I really loved your review of Baby's Day Out. I'll be honest, even How is that? I thought I reviewed this movie at one point. I think this happened because it's like a mix between Mr. Magoo and some of the lesser John Hughes movies like Flubber or Home Alone 3, which all of those I've reviewed. A part of me was actually pretty content having people think I reviewed this even though I didn't. But then <laughs> I saw several clips of this movie have over a million views. Holy. Really? The 1994 movie that doesn't even have a Blu-ray release? The box office Ow. bomb that got Siskel and Ebert into one of their biggest fights? I'm really surprised that you Dang, really? ashamed of yourself. Go back and find out who attended that sneak preview. I saw all those children are in dear jeopardy of becoming we attended. Roger Ebert. God, they could argue about anything. Pretty much. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> I'm sure Ooh. most of these hits are from viewers that are about the same age as the protagonist. But still, Maybe. <laughs> between the people who grew up with it, people who still watch it, and people who want me to review it so much they think I already did, I probably should check it out. So I'm Why probably not? gonna take a look for the first time. Again, maybe. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, Fruit of the Loom has that weird horn thing in this world. There is so much uselessness. You yeah, you go it. back. <laughs> That boy. And that's definitely gonna go for you too, as we take a look at Baby's Day Out. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't know he actually didn't do it. <laughs> Which, honestly, I looked through the channel and I never really look at that. I mean, no, this hasn't come out yet. It's not years. I mean, still pretty new. But still, how do you confuse, like, has he done it or has he not? Like, I mean, YouTube's there. Like, if you wanna look for it, look for it. I don't think it got age restricted or at least locked, which if it did, hot damn. And if it's so, wouldn't you recognize like the style of how it looked back in the day? I mean, Critic did have a, like a 
video quality of him back in the old days, so... Anyway, never really understood that part, but... Anywho, let's check out what happened during Baby's Day Out. It opens with the film, I guess making it clear this is supposed to be like one of those Book? old golden books, but... I don't know, I didn't see many crotches being set on fire in those. Not that I couldn't use a few. Ew. <laughs> We're introduced to Baby Bink. Yes, hey, Bink. that is the main character's name. In the mystery, that looks more like where Mother May I keeps her prisoners as opposed to a kid's room. Where they boarded a big blue bus. They were on their way to the big city. You ain't fooling me, lady. The opening credits weren't here a second ago. <laughs> He's having his picture taken this morning. His parents are Lorraine and Ben, played by Lara Flynn hey, Boyle and Matthew Glade. Say hello to old Willie for me. Old Willie really? isn't doing it. What the hell are you implying? Oh, the photographers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Three criminals, played by Joe Mantegna, Joe Pantoliano, and Brian Haley. Mind if we call you Joe to avoid confusion? Oi, right, mate. Says children's Sorry, photographers in order to kidnap the baby and hold him ransom. But does that sound much with the van? To put up with from his own family. Bye bye. Uh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh, bye bye. What? what happens bye when bye. Melon Channel gets drunk. I don't know. And he is played by Cynthia Nixon. Yeah, it's like I'm watching a Sex in the City to make a joke about that. Who prepares <laughs> Bink to be photographed? I. I am Mr. Charlie, photographer, the babe. I'd say, how can you not tell it's obviously a fake artist by 1994? It's how Tim Burton looked. Yeah. And also, what kind of photographer rides in in like a big old delivery van? <laughs> There's like, this is like the weirdest one I've ever seen, to be honest. <laughs> so weird. But, I mean, if that didn't scream like, yep, they're gonna kill the baby. I don't know what will. That's all I could say. Might as well get back to it. Uh huh. Piggy. A little young to read Ralph Stedman's Animal Farm, isn't he? Really Ten surprised. minutes proposed Home Alone, John Hughes. Surprised there hasn't been a crotch shot yet. <laughs> there it is. Back. I'm surprised there's not a character just named Crotch Shot in this. <laughs> May I ask one small? <laughs> oh, bang. May I have some time alone with the child? Out, get out of my house. If there's any other response yeah. from the mother, the baby deserves to be taken away from her. I need to yeah. study Bob. his marvelous little features. He does well with the persons he is not intimate with. Oh my god! I'd say check a You watch. messed up! talk like that, just check a telephone pole. <laughs> yeah. He's the silhouetted guy in all those drawings. I'll be back in 15 minutes. You'll be back in 15 years, lady. Yeah, no kidding. Of course, leave. Bye, first, kid, you're dead. Baby. Again, after the way he was talking, I think it's the least horrible scenario. And Ooh. the mother discovers she's been duped. Where's Bink? With their intelligence, I doubt they'd even know how. Who is <laughs> this Police? They <laughs> want $5 million for his return, which makes sense. No. So I should buy them some lessons on the bare minimum of looking after a baby. How do you tell the front from the back on these diapers? Are there pockets in the front? Wouldn't this be like abducting a dog and not knowing how dog food works? Yeah, no kidding. Regular baby clothes. That fruit suit's a giveaway that he's a rich kid. Oh, I'm starting to see why this was taken off at Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on him. That little doodle -doo machine is my retirement money. How classic Chicago gangsters talk. I remember when Al Capone used to say farts. Yeah, no. <laughs> the mother says. Oh, so what do you think the baby's gonna get loose? While the cops stop her in dialogue that's eerily similar, like all of Hughes's huh? work after Home Alone. There are five million people in this city and thousands of places where your boy could be. Your son is lost in one of the biggest cities in the world. Have you ever lost a child? No, ma'am. Then you can't possibly know how I feel. I apologize. Do you have kids? Yes, ma'am. And what would you do if one of them was missing? I'd probably be doing the same thing you're doing. Thank you. It's also ridiculous <laughs> to feel any sympathy for this, this woman. This feels like a proto home so alone. Easily. I'm not sure what came first. You were duped by three Stooges costumes and abandoned your child the same way someone would abandon a cookie to cookie monster. So I imagine you're feeling dumb. Yeah. The baby. Yeah, honestly, if I lost a baby, like, after that, I'm like, God damn it. I'm an idiot. So I think with how this story goes, I think baby's about to go free realm now. Here it comes. These birds outside and climbs Kitchen. out on a ledge following them. Ow. Okay, even on the shitty quality DVD, I can tell that's not Ew. the actor. It looks more like Patrick Warburton trying to be a Dick Tracy villain. Oops. Ed, 
I'm good. good. I'm good. I'm good. So quickly gets tired of its own slapstick that Mantania gets another crush, yeah. and he already seems numb to it. Ah. Ooh. Uh, was there an earth tremor in this alleyway, or was someone just really lazy about combining these two shots? Though that would so have to half-ass something in this movie, and I just can't believe that. There's the big blue bus. Baby gets out on the street and hops on the bus because it reminds him of the bus in the storybook. Yeah, if I was a criminal, yeah, I'd drive something as inconspicuous as that. What the hell even is that thing? I don't know. Looks like if the Indians from Peter Pan designed Homer's car of the future. Even the turtle van would be like, dude, you need like a fedora hat or something. Pretty much needs stop. a fedora hat. The baby gets into a lady's bag as the crooks stop the bus. The baby get off this bus! Eh, no baby, but it looks like Carol's blowing a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nope. They see the baby in the bag and rather than, oh, I don't know, just say the Grabbing baby's it. in the bag, they follow her and get beat up. <laughs> just right. Can I just wow, you actually let that slip. Write these? I have to understand humanity with this information. And baby's off again. He's way into Macy Fields when a lady stops him and thinks she's returning him to the child care center. There you go, my little escape artist. What are you in for? Look who's talking, you. Baby geniuses. Oh, get away from me. Yeah, baby. He leaves the child care, which honestly, he was there for so little, I don't even know why it was written in. And oh boy, Mr. Duncan never recovered from not giving that money to the children's hospital, did he? Wah, wah. Come on, hookers and blow don't pay for themselves. Hey! The baby makes his way in a cab when the parents get a tip off of where their son might be. Oh yeah, uh, that's the brown hair on my blonde kid's head. Oh, fake out, darn! You have a beautiful little boy. Eh, he's close enough, I'll take him. But she's a girl! I'll take him. I believe in my... Yikes. <laughs> I mean, considering how, like, he just left the baby with the obvious crooks, yeah. Kinda had it coming. And also, how is no one noticing, like, the baby's gone? Like, the, the three criminals are even noticing it. Like, okay, let me put it like this. Like, taxi driver, you think he would have heard the baby and been like, huh? What the? Where'd you come from? Or even the lady holding the bag, like, I don't think, I'm pretty sure the baby in the bag would have just been... Huh? What the? How'd you get here? Wait, seriously, no one noticing the baby. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a comedy, but still, there's only so much you can get away with, right? Anyway. My heart, that someone somewhere watches over the baby. You see, I read the Bible uh -huh. and nothing bad ever happens to babies in there. Sure about that? <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> found the commercials. Uh, just to uh, give me a secy, and to find her, find the spot where we have to get back to. Sorry, uh, it's hard to find it. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, I know rom rom coms, but or just regular comedy, but still, how's no one noticing? Anyway, back to the baby adventures. The baby makes his way to that famous Chicago Zoo, simply called. Zoo, Zoo. And the crooks aren't far behind. How is that kid not dead? Wait, that's a stump, baby. He wouldn't endanger the life of that driver. <laughs> Youch! Man, that guy was listening to his sound effects loud. Thank God he was nowhere near our feet. Yeah, no kidding, not even close. Three years. This is worse than that. Agreed. I'd rather work at Burger King for three years than watch this hour and a half long movie. Oof. They named the website Chris Hansen uses to catch predators. Baby tracks. And they follow them to the guy in a gorilla suit exhibit. And tell me if you make sense yeah, of this Yeah, gorilla. <laughs> oh, I get it. We're all insane. <laughs> Funny enough, this is one of the few scenes I actually think is done well. Because it's legit a little yeah, suspense. It's like Harambe. Oh, like, kind of gorilla's gorilla. like, no, my. He really soaks in them wondering if this gorilla is going to be friendly or goddamn kill them. It's one of the few times the slow pacing actually works to the film's advantage. Like, and yet, they don't want to piss them off. The just gorilla's reaction for... just flips on a dime. Ponte mm -hmm. <laughs> is like, okay, is this my test in the Matrix? <laughs> like, Neo gets the lady in the red dress and I get the gorilla? Because it ain't fab, it is! Whoa! Okay. In a very strange choice, How? they show a close-up of a sign that reads, Don't cross the guardrails. So, anybody that kidnapped a baby and lost him at a zoo, take notes. But Mantania yeah. oh, tries uh -oh. to sneak him out while they sleep. 
Yikes! It doesn't work. <laughs> of course they don't do it. Oh. Should I do a third crotch shot? I'm <laughs> too depressed this movie made me ask that. <laughs> okay. I... Out, and I will give the film a little credit. Oh, yeah, Even though this is clearly a guy in the suit, it does look a lot more convincing than the poster. Like, this is yeah, at least fair. passable in a movie. This is the lead for Rock of Fire Explosion. Could you honestly not even get a clip from the movie? Like, what? I'll just put the title randomly somewhere. Boom! Poster. I did that in, like, a second. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, I'm I kidding. forgot. This is half Lifetime Movie of the Week, too. All I wanted was my baby's picture in the paper. In the paper? Baby's Day outrated worst 94 film since Exit to Eden. Sounds about right. again find the baby, but the cops find their car, so they try not to be conspicuous. Beautiful day, huh? You know anything about John and Elliot's breakup? I've been having battery trouble. Bad! Oh. What? I think this character's goal is to stand out. I think he just busted a nut. Sorry about that. In dude. all of Chicago and see how long nobody notices. To be fair, it does take us a bit of time. <laughs> okay, how? That's okay, cute. kid, how are you doing that? I swear that kid's psychopathic. It looks like a radioactively mangled pork sausage. Got a bad we'll be soon. <laughs> this bit goes on way too long and overstays its welcome, but I do like the way he says this one line. I'll be right with you. I just had a crab in my leg. It sounds like Miss Piggy getting eaten out in both meanings of that phrase. Eh, kid's gone. Why do I feel like if there wasn't a zany music, this would be a Chucky movie? I mean, yeah, no kidding. Seriously. This is basically the Joe Pesci scene where he got shot in the balls, combined with the Passion of the Christ. Pretty much. Yeah, cut to the drama of a mother fearing for her missing child. That follows beautifully after Great Balls of Fire here. I'm actually shocked they didn't play that song. Where's my... <laughs> Where's that funny thing, Dan? Just... Goodness gracious, Great Balls of Fire! Sorry, we're done. <laughs> is he sad? Can we get back to the baby oh, mayhem, please? Is it cringy as hell? Yes. The only other thing a movie like this promises outside of crotch shots is construction work. Yep. So I wait, swear, at this point, this wait, is just full Looney Tunes. Hey, hey, hey. Seriously, the fact none of them have noticed, like the wow, baby. Even for Baby's Day Out effects, those are real Baby's Day Out effects. Yep. Oh, hold on. Dead. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You would be dead. Things happen with the crooks cool. falling over each other and the yep. baby oh. blissfully unaware of the danger he's in. <laughs> That's four. Four times the crotch shot wasn't funny. Ah, ah, ah. You just feel bad. Not again. Ow. Okay, not the crotch again. Good. Do you think they even remember oh. why they wanted the baby? Do they even know their names at this point? Yeah, I was a uh oh. Ugh. Do I want to know what's that? You can't do that on television has been an out of fashion production. I don't want to know. Crawls away were given way too good a shot for a film like this, and the criminals seem bested once more. Hey, we're down here. Don't worry, we're equally gooped. And equally undeserving of laughter. Yeah, this sucks. Report on all the sightings and the nanny puts together that he's following his favorite children's book so she knows where he's gonna go next. Because obviously the baby's geography of the city is spot on. This might be stupid. It's the kid yeah. on television, the one that... Come on, Are we sure this guy... Like instantly endearing this actor is? He has like a minute of screen time and already I think he's secretly Santa Claus. I was gonna say, like, is he the guy in charge of the, like, the bumbling thieves? Like, seriously, like, I don't know. Like, we saw him before, like, how much would it bet he's actually the bad guy? I don't know. Seriously. Hey, hey, hey. They sing the most pitch perfect rendition of This is the Army, Mr. Jones. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. No private rooms are telephone. Uh. For that is the most Cobra out of place. As angelic as these twelve old men. No kidding. And mom and dad are finally reunited with Bink. <laughs> Christ, I still can't believe they called him that. But mm -hmm. wait a minute, I think Binky's trying to tell us something. That's not a boo boo. That's a TikTok. He means his boo boo's back there. That's where he's been. This whole movie's a boo boo. Boo boo. Boo boo in the boo box wouldn't be as big a boo boo as this boo boo. 
Oh boy. Tell him to turn around. We're going back to the TikTok to get the boo boo. Frank, can you just pretend we're filming a real movie? Can you just pretend we're not both dead inside? Can we just send this, this please? Why do we need to boo boo? They go to the TikTok where our villains are healing, but there's no rest for the wicked. You're surrounded. Throw down the boo boo. And just a reminder, boo -boo. Jack Hughes used a different name for these <laughs> films. Because can I be like? I can't believe I said that. I'm out. Yes. He was proud of. Really? The baby's having his picture taken tomorrow. Say hello to old Willie Horton. I found this great place called Wet Bandits <laughs> Photography. <laughs> and that was the guy Jeez. who brought us the Breakfast Club. Poor John. How do you think it was? Oof. It's not good. It only has one joke of baby laughs while criminals get hurt, and most of the slapstick isn't fast enough, creative enough, or even painful enough. I know this mm -mm. is meant for teeny tiny kids, but even as those movies go, it's pretty lackluster and unimaginative. Yeah. Granted, there are much worse. There aren't many moments that were painful or made me angry. The acting isn't good, I guess, but I can't say it's bad either. Everyone just gives the standard performances you've seen a million times from these type of characters, but admittedly, I have seen it done in a more annoying way in other flicks. It's just lame. It's a lame movie. I can't find a ton to truly despise about it, but I can't find a ton to enjoy about it either. Fair. Just some meh Well, movie. I hope you enjoyed the real review of Baby Stay Out. And... Oh, now what? Whoa, what happened? You reviewed the movie. Yeah, so that reality disappeared. Oh. Really? I'm disappointed. We are! Jip Peanut Butter had a Y at the end. Looney Tunes had four O's. And Pikachu had that little black thing on the end of his no, he didn't. It's so wrong living in a world without him having that little black thing at the end of his tail. It's on the tip of his ears. He should be on the tip of his tail. Look, this stuff is fun to talk about, but we shouldn't obsess yeah. over it. Come we on, should guys. be complete knowing we don't know everything. Never. We need to know everything about every Mandela effect. But they'll warp your mind if you fix it. Yeah, too you'll much lose your mind. I'm pretty sure you have it already. Yeah, like where? Like how the gun you tossed Malcolm earlier changed in between shots. Wait, when? Before you went to the portal. Before the portal. Don't believe me? I don't know. Go back and check. I feel like if we do, you win somehow. Okay, then don't go check it out. He could just be don't. saying that, so we will go and check. Okay, then show some self-control yeah. and don't go back and check. Okay. Show the control we though. But Three, you will. two, Nonsense. It's just one. It's in between shots. It has no impact on us. But you will. But it will. And here we go. Bye, guys. I think he did, but I don't know. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Surprised they kept that one in. Anyway, there you go. Baby's day out. And honestly, yeah. Other than some uh, usual slapstick, kind of boring. Like, sheesh. I mean, I don't even just feel bad for the criminals, you know? I mean, oof. Didn't ask for that. Yeesh. Yeah, I don't know why with these films you just feel bad for the criminals, you know, the ones that did the crime. Like, sheesh. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Till next time, like, subscribe for more. I'll see you for the next one. Later.